Hey everybody, it's Windstreak here. Welcome back to episode 5 of Mechanics Vault. Today we're going to be talking about health bars. And it doesn't have to be just health bars, it's any bar that you want to show the progress of. This can work both going upwards or downwards, so you can have a charging bar or a progress bar, health, the timer, anything like that. And it'll just track the percentage that you are gaining or losing. This health bar will be a little different. We're going to throw in a circle and it will be filled with a liquid. It will kind of resemble blood as it goes up and down. It will wave back and forth. Built with two layers. To begin, we're going to take our background, which will be showing after the HP drops lower. And that's going to be on our first layer. And that's all that's going to be there. And that can be with all of your other animations. The fancy layer is going to be our second layer. And we will have the actual HP bar. And this will be what we cover up or mask and nothing special with this sprite and then our actual mask is what is going to be creating the wave or the water effect and I'll let you read all these that gives you a decent example of what they do down below the only thing for HP I try to keep all of the uh, intensities and amounts to a minimum we just want to see that it's wavy but we want people to be able to see how much life they are missing we put the destination to out and as we move it up and down, it'll cover the life. And the last thing we need to do is on our layer one, we need to come into appearance and set force own texture. And that will set the mask invisible. And then you will see that it covers up the sprite, which is on the same layer as it, leaves the background one. And then we have this nice light wave effect to show water. All we have to do now is find a way to make the mask go up and down and we have an equation for that. So the equation works by setting the mask right on top of the health bar to start out and then every tick we're going to reset that position and adjust it versus how much of the percent is missing. So we have the health bar dot y which is the up and down position and then we add on half of the height so since the, s the health bar has an origin in the center uh, we want to start right on top so we are touching the health bar but not covering it up so to get from the center to the top we need half of that height and every tick we will set it there and then we will subtract one pixel in our current state our health bar height which is a hundred divided by a hundred and then if we were to change our health bar height to say 200 then it would go to two pixels per one percent we get that percentage afterwards with this equation down below and we are looking at the current the hero's current health divided by their max health and then normally we would just do times 100 to put it into a percent but if you run this int and do times a thousand instead and then outside of the int you divide it by 10 it will give you one decimal place past the normal percentage. 